okay. Way, open the way. I can't even open the way. Open the way. Open the A little way. chaos here getting off the ship. But the easiest way to get into lower Manhattan, as soon as you come out of the ferry terminal or the cruise ship terminal, you're just going to take a left and you're going to walk down this congested sidewalk. Okay, continue. All these people are waiting for ride share services or private ride services that are going to cost anywhere between $40 and $120, depending on your destination, and anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour and 20 minutes. So, Easiest way to get into Lower Manhattan is we're going to come over here and take the New York City Ferry for $4. I'd recommend go ahead and buy your ferry ticket on the online app. And you have to scan through the open app. So we're walking right over here to the ferry boats. So it does get a little congested. You got to be careful because there's people who don't know where they're going. But literally less than two minutes and you're at the New York City ferry stop. I'm going to come over here and Turn my phone back on. All right, we're gonna come over here and stop for a second and get everything ready. So this is the information you'll need as soon as you get here. And we're gonna come this way and now you're on the ferry dock. We're just gonna walk down under the shelter and we're gonna wait for the ferry to arrive. And we're looking for the ferry that's going towards Wall Street is where we're going. So there's an area that you can wait here. You see other people are currently waiting. And we're just going to come over here and stop for a second. But you can see the ferry docks covered and there's the cruise ship. Literally, literally less than two minute walk and it's four dollars into lower Manhattan to the Wall Street Pier 11 uh, And you can bypass all of that chaos of the rideshare services the buses and the bags So do yourself a favor come off the cruise ship Just walk along the sidewalk to get to Perry uh, the pier You come down the ramp pre-purchase your ticket on the online app and we'll be ready to go when the ferry gets here. So once you arrive here on the pier, if you did not purchase your ticket through the New York City Ferry app, you can come here and they do have a kiosk machine that you can purchase, but I will tell you, being visually impaired, that that screen is e-ink and it's hard to read and the push buttons are absolutely tiny. So no offense, NYC ferry system you need to upgrade your kiosk machines because a visually impaired person Need to use the app You do have a Teleprompter up here to let you know when the next ferry is coming You have an overview map that shows you the whole ferry routes And then the current route that comes here 
you're going to come down the ferry ramp, and as you turn, you're going to look between the doors and see the sign, and that's going to tell you the destination of the direction of travel. They do have bike storage here, and you go on, be careful of your threshold as you step up here. And then there's bathrooms in the back left-hand side and right-hand side, and there's a convenience um, food place right back there in the back as well. The NYC ferry waiting to depart to Wall Street. So, from the Red Hook Atlantic Basin Terminal Ferry Point to Wall Street, is there's one stop that we have to make, and then we'll head to Wall Street Pier 11, and it's approximately 17 minutes of a trip point of advice when you're traveling please have a plan in place understand where you are and where you're going and how you're going to get to point a and b sometimes it's fun to get lost but in a city like new york you need to have a plan in place Especially if you have a time constraint to catch a flight or a train or a bus. So that's just a point of advice. Have a plan in place. Execute the plan. Gain knowledge so that way your travels are smoother. So we're leaving the, the middle ferry stop. And then to the right you'll see the Brooklyn Bridge and Dumbo. is over to our left. So we're going up to East River right now. So you can see the Brooklyn Bridge clearly now and we're approaching Pier 11 Wall Street Ferry Terminal. And then I'm going to walk around uh, Lower Manhattan around the Stone Street area. That's looking up the East River. If you're here during a weekday, there's these luggage storage facilities that stay open between different hours, nine to seven, nine to 10 at night. On Sunday, they're limited. There's one storage facility place in lower Manhattan that is from 11 until 4. Well, we're approaching our ferry terminal now. And we're going to be getting off here at Wall Street Pier 11. Don't be confused if you've taken this ferry before and it's departed from one side of the dock and you're just dropping off now on the other side of the dock. Again, departures should be in the same location but arrivals might be somewhere different. So you have to keep looking at the marquee signs to see where your actual ferry stop is located. And I'm gonna wait for people to get off the boat because it's gonna get quite congested. When you're getting off the ferry, there's a carpet here. Be careful, luggage rolls it up. There's a bump as you go over. And then also watch your step when you're getting up on the ferry dock because it is raising and lowering based on the water flow. The yellow markings indicate threshold changes. So you're just going to follow the crowd as you walk off the ferry dock. Now, once you're on the, the main ferry dock, you're going to walk towards the buildings. Excuse me, sorry. 
You're just going to keep walking straight off the ferry dock to the overhead bridge system. And this is how you get from the cruise ship terminal, Atlantic Basin, Red Hook, to Wall Street Pier 11. Thanks for walking. Okay. A little chaos here getting off the ship, but the easiest way to get into lower Manhattan, as soon as you come out of the ferry terminal, or the cruise ship terminal, you're just gonna take a left, and you're gonna walk down this congested sidewalk. Okay, all these people are waiting for ride share services or private ride services that are going to cost anywhere between $40 and $120 depending on your destination and anywhere between 45 minutes and an hour and 20 minutes. So, easiest way to get into lower Manhattan is we're going to come over here and take the New York City ferry for $4. I'd recommend go ahead and buy your ferry ticket on the online app and you have to scan through the open app so we're walking right over here to the ferry boats So it does get a little congested. You got to be careful because there's people who don't know where they're going. But literally less than two minutes and you're at the New York City ferry stop. I'm going to come over here and turn my phone back on. Alright, we're going to come over here and stop for a second and get everything ready.